Is it going? It's going! Hey everybody, um, it's been a while since my first video, um, yeah, this is my first book haul. I'm gonna do three books. If I showed you all the books I've gotten in the past three weeks since my last video, I would be showing you 43 books. I have a problem with buying books. I'm an adult, I can control this, right? Yeah, I can control this. Let's just, I'm just gonna keep telling myself that. So today for you, I have three books I bought in the past week, and I'm just gonna do that so I can actually read the synopsis, and I'll just start off there. It'll be nice clean start without 42 books crowding into one book haul. So, three books the past few weeks. Let's do this. The first book I got this past week is one I've heard a lot about. It's getting a lot of praise. It's supposed to be really good and it's a debut novel and it is Blood Magic by Tessa Grattan. Here is the cover. It was published just this past Tuesday and I really like the cover. I really do enjoy that. And I'm going to read to you the little blurb on the back and the synopsis, so in case you're interested, here we go. I dug my pocket knife out of my jeans and flipped open the blade. Resting the tip against my left thumb, I paused. My stomach twisted as I contemplated how much it was going to hurt. What if this spellbook was just a huge joke? Was I even crazy to try? Magic couldn't be real. But it was written in Dad's hand, and he had never been that kind of mean. And he wasn't crazy, no matter what anybody said. Dad had believed in this, and I believed in Dad. I had to. Either way, it was just a drop of blood. I pushed the knife against my skin, puckering it, but not breaking through. My whole body shivered. I was about to find out if magic was real. The electric thrill of terror was sharp on my tongue. I cut deep. So there's the back of blood magic. Here's a little blurb. It starts off simply. Draw a circle. Place a dead leaf in the center. Sprinkle some salt. Recite a little Latin. Add a drop of blood. Maybe that last part isn't exactly simple, yet somehow it feels right to Scylla Kennicott. And nothing in her life has felt remotely right since her parents' horrific deaths. She's willing to do anything to uncover the truth about her family, even try a few spells from the mysterious book that arrived on her doorstep, and spill some blood. The book isn't the only recent arrival in Scylla's life. There's Nick Party, the new guy next door who may have seen Scylla casting a spell. He's not sure what he saw, and is more afraid to find out. But as they spend more time together, Scylla realizes that this may not be Nick's first encounter with blood magic. Brought together by a combination of fate and chemistry, Scylla and Nick can't deny their attraction, and they can't ignore the dark presence lurking nearby, waiting to reclaim the book and all its power. So there you go. Tessa Gratton's Blood Magic. This came out just this past Tuesday. I'm looking forward to reading this. I don't know how long it'll be before I get to it because I got a lot of freaking books to read. So, there you go. The next one I also picked up just this past Tuesday because it came out, and I'm excited about it because it's also getting a lot of praise. And that is Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly. There's the cover. Very, very glossy, very pretty. And here we go with the blurb and the synopsis. They're out for your soul, and they don't have heaven in mind. Mm. Willow knows she's different from other girls, and not just because she loves tinkering with cars. Willow has a gift. She can look into the future and know people's dreams and hopes, their sorrows and regrets, just by touching them. She has no idea where this power comes from, but the assassin, Alex, does. Gorgeous, mysterious Alex knows more about Willow than Willow herself does. He knows that her power is linked to dark and dangerous forces, and that he's one of the few humans left who can fight them. When Alex finds himself falling in love with his sworn enemy, he discovers that nothing is as it seems, least of all, good and evil. There you go. Last one I went out and bought today because I realized my Barnes & Noble puts things out about a week earlier than they're supposed to. This is actually supposed to be coming out. Whoa, you see what the cover's doing? <laughs> um, this is actually supposed to come out this Tuesday, but I knew they would have it out on the shelf, so I went and got it. Now, let's have a funny story here first. First of all, the book I got is Josephine Angelini's Starcrossed. This one's getting, getting a lot of praise, and it's kind of a mythology sort of thing. But here's the funny thing. I went to Barnes & Noble, right, to pick it up. And I pick it up, and I, I do this thing where I look for the best copy they have so I don't get a damaged one. And that's fine and all, and I found one. But I open it up. Here's the front. I open it up, and this is what I see. Hold on. The book's upside down. You want to tell me how that happened? Because I don't know how that happened. Um, yeah. And so I'm like, oh, they just put it in the slipcover wrong. Well, 
There's the slip cover. See the side of the book? It says Star Crossed. It says Angelini right here. Yeah. When you open it up, upside down. It really doesn't bother me because the only time it's going to be out is when I'm reading it and it'll just look like I'm reading it upside down because here we are again. And this is right side up. Weird, huh? I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I really, really doubt it. Um, that would be an awful mistake for a publisher to make, though. And um, But it doesn't bother me, so I went ahead and picked it up and I just stuck it upside down or right side up, whichever one you want to call it, in the case that way. So here we go. Here's the blurb on the back, and I'm going to get dramatic with this because it's written in big letters. A love written in the stars. A feud started in ancient Greece. A curse not even the gods can break. That's all the blurb. And the inside says, how do you defy destiny? I don't mean to make this sound all cheesy and lame. That's just the way it's coming out. Here we go. Helen Hamilton has spent her entire 16 years trying to hide how different she is. No easy task on an island as small and sheltered as Nantucket. And it's getting harder. Nightmares of a desperate, desperate journey have Helen awaking parched, only to find her sheets damaged by dirt and dust. At school, she's haunted by hallucinations of three women weeping tears of blood. And when Helen first crosses paths with Lucas Delos, she has no way of knowing they're destined to play the leading roles in a tragedy the fates insist on repeating throughout history. As Helen unlocks the secrets of her ancestry, she realizes that some myths are more than just legends. But even demigod powers might not be enough to defy the forces that are both drawing her and Lucas together and trying to tear them apart. So there you go. That is Star Cross by Joseph Josephine Angelini. I can't talk today. The rest of the day. Beautiful cover, very shiny. Gotten a lot of hype, so looking forward to it. That is my first book haul, the end of it. Um, I'll be doing a couple of reviews here soon, hopefully in the next couple of days, because I've finished a couple of books and I want to start doing that. So, um, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like the channel, um, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, bye.